Welcome everyone, back again, third lesson. Today we're going to uh, talk about position three and five of the pentatonic scale. We're still in uh, A minor. If you didn't check out the first video, please do, because that's uh, about the basic of the first, second and fourth box. This is going to be a bit more difficult today, but not that difficult. Is the third position, which is this. position which is this so someone might ask why do I need all those different boxes positions to play like a solo well in fact you don't but it makes it much more fun to play like from here boop all the way to here like that's the end goal. Let's say the end goal is this. Feels great. You come from here all the way up to here. You go back. So that's when you really start to enjoy the guitar. Certain freedom. And uh, last time we looked at box one, two, and four, which has some similarities, like we learned this thing. You can also do it here. Last week we looked at the root notes. Know your root notes. Know your roots, guys and girls. This. So that really helps to get an overview of the guitar. And uh, today we're looking at first box number three, which has also some similarities with, with box one. It, like if you play box one like this, we find that same pattern here. And of course here we go one back. And that has all to do with the difference between the G and the B string. So when we do this, which will be here, here you go one back. So that that is the similarity. Very nice box, box three. It has some uh, some special licks in it, like this. Some licks you can only do in one box, like for instance box one. If you hear something like that on the radio, then you know, okay, that is box one or, or high. Box two has some lick like. So box three, if, I, if you hear sometimes play like BB King. Typically, box three lick. The taps are in uh, in the link under the video, but I quickly still show you the box. Let's play it first from the root note, twelve on A. I like to play it both with my uh, index finger and ring finger. Of course, when you go higher, you can also do it with, with middle finger. Typically for, for a lick like from Eric Clapton. So one uh, suggestion might be, a lot of guitar players, they know box one and two, to really push yourself to go a bit further. Pick a backing track in, uh, in A minor, or just play along with some, with some track in A minor and really 
say to yourself, I'm only going to do box three today. This, I don't come there, only this. So you get familiar with this box. And then you hear like the same licks like. You can also do that here. several spots okay so that is box three box five we find it here also here let's first do it high start on the root note 17 on e i also play it with my uh, ring finger and index finger There's a lot of similarities with this position. Same kind of feel. Slower. I'm a bit uh, in the worst today. So what we do, we play this lick actually scale that is part of box one starting on seven from d then we go here 12 on a that is box three and then box five finally 17 here on e now why can't we just copy like this and put it here no, it's not right. Because we learned in the first video the G and the B string. Or, oh, as many of you know, all of the strings have a difference of five frets. But this, A, four. So anytime you come across a lick like this, then you do this. This has not a difference of four but of five, so one back. That's why it's very good to play the same lick in different positions, then your brain is going to adjust to that G and B string difference. here because of the bigger bigger gap bigger distance at the beginning of the neck you might want to play it with your pinky depending also if you play extra notes which will be another lesson of course you can do this enjoy the video uh, more to come so uh, now we covered all the five boxes next time we try and play uh, a bit more music with them and uh, hope you have fun